welcome to Reading with Jess. I hope you all had the most fantastic week. I'm so sorry I'm running a bit late. I was just finishing off my tea. I want to know, what is your favourite food and drink? Can you imagine if a tiger comes into your house and eats all your food and drinks? Everything in your house. Absolutely everything. Because in today's story, that is exactly what a tiger does. And it's called The Tiger Who Came to Tea. The Tiger Who Came to Tea Written and illustrated by Judith Kerr. The magic begins at tea time. I first told the story to my small daughter long ago. She was rather critical of my other stories, but used to say, talk the tiger. So when she and her brother were both at school and I had more time, I thought I would make it into a picture book. And much to my amazement, here it still is. 50 years later. For Tacey and Matty. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his key. We'd better open the door and see. Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. Oh! And he still looked hungry, so Sophie passed him the buns. But again, the tiger didn't eat just one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish and then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. And then he looked round the kitchen to see what else he could find. He ate all of the supper that was cooking in the saucepan and all the food in the fridge, and all the packets and tins in the cupboard. And he drank all the milk, and all the orange juice, and all daddy's beer, and all the water in the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did.